Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we have another haul video and it is all Sephora and Ulta products that I've recently picked up and I've been waiting for some stuff to come in so I can film it all at one time and it's here. So we're gonna jump straight into the video, but before we do, y'all know the drill. If you're new and you're just watching my video for the first time, stop what you're doing, click that subscribe button, go ahead and join the family. We do a lot of beauty, we do a lot of makeup, we do a lot of hauls, we do a lot of reviews and tutorials. So if you're into that, you're gonna love this channel. I won't keep you waiting any longer. If you wanna see what I picked up in my most recent Sephora and Ulta hauls, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So we are going to jump right in, hitting the ground running, talking about fragrances. I just recently got in my package from Lux XB and so I wanted to include that with the haul since I have fragrances that I purchased as well. If you're not familiar, Lux XB is a subscription service where you pay $15.95 a month and you get a subscription for fragrances. So the same way like BoxyCharm. Ipsy, we also have it for perfumes. I have talked about them in my videos before. I have worked with them before and they sent me three new fragrances. Normally your subscription is one, but they were kind enough to send me three. So you get one of these boxes and you do get to choose if there's a certain fragrance that you want. This is what the packaging looks like. So it comes in this small tube and I absolutely love these because you can throw them in your purse and travel with them. And then you just twist up the top like this and then you spray your fragrance. And then when you want to change it, you just pull this out and you keep the case right here. The cases come in different shades. I have a red one, I have a black one, I have a silver. This is silver, this beautiful teal aquamarine color and then this gorgeous kind of sea green color here. Absolutely love that. So I'm gonna briefly talk about the fragrances that they sent me. I never know. I just tell them what type of fragrances I like and they always send something similar to what I like, but then they also send something different. So I've actually found some fragrances that I didn't know I was going to like from them. They have over 700 fragrances and it's designer brands as well as niche brands. So there's plenty for you to choose from. The first one that I got, this is Juliet Has a Gun Pear Ink. This smells good. It says that it's pear and I expected it to smell a little more fruity than it does, but this is really nice. It's soft, but I still smell a little bit of a musk to it. Let me look it up. So apparently this is a pretty new fragrance and for a 1.7 ounce bottle at Sephora, this will cost you $100. So this is pretty pricey. It says it's a fresh citrus and fruit. That's what it's, it kind of reminds me a little, little bit of Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Yeah, so it does say this fragrance is built around a green pear lying of a milky heart of musk. I do smell that with a twist of ambroxan that brings a delicious fruity essence. This is a winner for me for sure. The next scent that they sent over is Escada Miami Blossom. Anything that usually says blossom or blush, I usually like those. Ooh, this one's a little softer, definitely more floral. I like this. This kind of reminds me, back in the day I used to wear Ed Hardy and it kind of reminds me of that. I've never had an Escada fragrance. This is definitely daytime softer, but I love how this smells. So this one says it has its top composition has fruity notes from watermelon blueberry and orange and then the middle is a luminous floral with tuberose jasmine pineapple and tiara flower and then it also has a dry down with hints of sandalwood and musk i love this and this does remind me a lot of one of my old ed hardy fragrances i can't eat, i don't know the name of it because it's like super super old did i keep that bottle I sure did. Yeah, this is definitely a winner as well. More daytime, but definitely good. The last one that they sent is Marc Jacobs Daisy Love. 
I have had samples of this before and I think I liked it. I don't know that I would buy that one. It's okay. It's not it's not a bad fragrance. It's just, I don't know. I think it's not musky enough for me. Let me see. This one for 1.7 ounces is $86. It says it's a warm floral, so that's... Let me spray it. I don't have anything on right now. I'm going to wear this one and see. I'm going to let it dry down. I like it. It's not that I don't like it. I'm going to say that. It's just... I feel like it's a little more floral. So this says it has crystallized cloud berries, daisy, daisy tree petals, cashmere musks, and driftwoods. I like the smell of this. I'm going to let it dry down because there's something in it that's kind of... I don't know. The initial smell of it is kind of like, eh, do we like it? And then after it settles, it smells better. So... That one's gonna be, that would be my third. I like the first two better. Definitely Juliet has a gun first, then the Escada second, and then that one third. They were kind enough to offer a discount code for my subscribers, so if you're interested in trying them out, use code BARBELLBARBIE, and that will get you 30% off your first month. So take advantage of that if you wanna give them a try. So now let's get into the ones that I bought. This first fragrance, I picked up on a whim. Sometimes I feel like I can just read the notes and I'm gonna know that I'm gonna like it or I think I'm gonna like it, I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't work out. The first one I picked up is Ellis Brooklyn Sci-Fi. This usually runs $100 and Ulta had it on sale for $75. So yeah, add to cart, duh. Fragrances are expensive. So if you can get them on sale, I always do. The good thing is if I didn't like it, I could bring it back. So not upset about that. But this one says it is warm and spicy. So completely new for me. And it says it's cool spices, but it says bergamot, green tea, and vanilla beans. I like bergamot. I like green tea. Vanilla, as long as it's not too sweet, I like. So I was like, let's just give it a try and see. It does also say it has a hint of citrus to it. So that's why I thought I would like it. This is definitely, oh, why does this kind of smell like Centile 33? I can't put it on right now because I just sprayed something, but I like this. I love the packaging of these. I think my other one like this is a clear, the fragrance in it is clear. This one has like a bluish kind of undertone shade to it. I need to wear this soon because this, I think, I'm having trouble smelling it. I don't want to... Let me see if I can spray it on something. No, a little bit of Santal 33 in there, but that's probably just from the woody, warm spices. This is different. I like this, though. I feel like this would be... It could be date night-ish, but the citrus is kind of toning it down to make it smell a little more clean. Definitely different from anything else I have, so I'm glad I picked this one up and even more glad that I got it on sale. The next one is also another Ellis Brooklyn, and this is Fawn. This one, I think I heard somebody talking about, and then I read the notes on it, and I was like, this sounds like something I'm gonna like. This one is also $100 and was also on sale for $75. This one is a fresh floral. It says the keynotes are Neroli and Pettigrain. It says this fragrance is like liquid sunshine. It contains milky coconut tones and bright citrus notes that say vacation in a bottle. Scent lingers with a hint of sweetness and musk-like skin warmed by a day spent in the sun. Honestly? I'm not sure why I picked this one up. <laughs> I am not sure because that sounds very interesting. Okay, this is different. It smells floral. It's not as warm for sure. I don't know, I do still kind of smell that though. It smells similar to other fragrances that I like. So if you've liked any of the other ones that I've described, like my Burberry Blush, I think this is kind of what this reminds me of you're gonna like this one. So pick it up. If you like florals, warm florals, this will be right up your alley. The last one, I actually bought one of the Sephora perfume sets and I bought the one that came with the um, Pat McGrath Dark Scar Mascara. Absolutely love that mascara. I tried it in my full face of Pat McGrath. I will link it if you haven't seen it. 
but mascara was good and i picked this one because i smelled this perfume and i knew i wanted it but i was like let me just see what the other smell like but i already knew i was gonna get this one this is the versace dylan turquoise this smells so good let me look up the notes so i can tell you exactly what it is but i already have versace bright crystal which i love i already have versace dylan blue which i also got in a gift set and i like that one but not as much as this one this is a 1.7 fluid ounce and so the regular price of it is 84 dollars and it says it is also a fresh floral this one says lemon pima fiore essence guava and musks anything that has a little musk i like that i don't know what it's just sultry and sexy i love the bottle this i never realized i was into florals until i actually started looking at the notes but isn't this gorgeous y'all know we love packaging right this smells this is so good like this is gonna be one of my top fives i already know if you can go smell this go smell it if you've smelled it and you like it comment below and let me know if you've already smelled this one all right so now that i'm done yapping about fragrances let's get into the makeup we're gonna start off with sephora pick up my bag and like i said the reason i went into sephora was to pick up that perfume and then i also saw this i wasn't planning on picking this up this is the patrick ta i always say this name wrong major dimension eyeshadow palette i guess i was just intrigued by all the reviews i have used this already i have a video i don't know if it's up yet or this is up first but either way you will see you know i'll be honest it's a warm palette it's a little more of a neutral warm than it is like a super warm like with oranges and reds and all that it's pretty and i like that they have these cream shades at the end and then the rest of the shades but i'm it's a good palette i just don't i guess i don't see what all the hype is other than the cream shades it's pigmented the shades are pretty i'm not returning it i like it i'm gonna keep it but i just don't know i love the packaging even though it's dirty i just i guess i don't understand why people are just like oh my god this new patrick top palette is just blah blah like we've seen this before we've seen it other than the creams it's not really anything revolutionary love the packaging reminds me of the pat mcgrath um uh, divine rose 2 rose gold shiny like this for this to be 68 dollars that's what my issue is if this would have been closer to 50 i could see it and i probably would be more like oh this palette is amazing but 70 dollars i don't think it's worth 70 dollars it's a good palette, but I just don't think it's worth that price. I picked it up, fell into the hype. Not mad that I got it, but I'm not just like, I'm so happy that I got it either, if that makes sense. I also picked up another palette. This one, I am excited about. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Volume 5 Pro Pigment Palette. Y'all, this is what I have on my eyes today. I don't know if you would have thought that because everybody was like, oh, it's all purple. Oh, it's the same as the first one. Oh, it's a combination of the first one and the fourth one. Oh, it's the Norvina palette extended, whatever. This is amazing. These shadows, I did five looks, you guys. And this is just beautiful. I love, I have the first one. I showed it in the video where I filmed my looks. This one is a lot more warm and, well, not, not necessarily warm, but it's definitely more neutral. It's not as many pops of colors. It's the purple, it's the brown, it's a little bit of the gold. There is a pressed glitter in here, which I actually did use, who am I? But overall, I don't think there's a shadow in here that I didn't use in my video, except for that one, because this shade right here, I said I wasn't gonna do swatches, but when I swatched this, I was going to use it on my brow bone, and thank God I swatched it first, because that is straight up like gold. And that was not the look we were going for. So I absolutely love this palette. I can tell y'all that now. Glad I picked it up, 
and it is worth the money. So if you're thinking about it and you don't have the other ones, or even if you do have the first one, I think this one is definitely different enough to get it. That's all I'm gonna say, just get it. I decided to pick up three Marc Jacobs products. As you know, Marc Jacobs is, I don't know if they're rebranding, if they're going out of business, but a lot of their stuff is on sale right now, 30% off, maybe even half off some of it. I picked up this eyeshadow palette. This is the Iconic Multi-Finish Eye Palette. This is in number 790 Fantasine. I think I had seen this one actually at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something like that. I am going to show this one, but I have already decided that I have another neutral Marc Jacobs palette that I'm gonna put this one in a giveaway. I'm gonna show this, but I'm not gonna swatch it because I do plan on putting this in the giveaway. So this is what the palette looks like. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful neutrals and it's Marc Jacobs. The quality is amazing. Like I said, I do have others of his palettes. So I think some lucky person is gonna be really glad that they got this if they haven't tried Marc Jacobs already. If they have, this will just be added to the collection. I also picked up a High Shine Lip Lacquer. This is in the shade Chicha Changes, number 362. I just thought this was so pretty because of all the different shades in it. And with it being on sale, of course, I'm like, oh, you should just get it. This is so gorgeous. Like I almost wish, I hope the colors are coming off. I'm probably gonna have to, there you go. So you can kind of see it's like a greenish gold and then it goes to a bronze. I'm gonna put some on. I think this is gonna go really well with my eye look. Ooh, that, oh, that might mess up my, look at that. Look how shiny that is. I hope you guys can see all the colors in it. But we're gonna go ahead and, whoa, that, it's almost like an iridescent greenish, silver, I don't know, but that's gorgeous. And it smells like mint. I think it toned down my color a little bit, but it also kind of blends with the eyes. I don't know, this is cute though. So like I said, Marc Jacobs is on sale right now. If you've been interested in picking up any of his stuff, go ahead and try it. And then last but not least, I picked up one of his highlighters. This is in the shade Grapevine. So of course this is a purple and probably would have been good with this look but this is what it looks like these liners stay they are very pigmented i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it very pretty royal purple not too dark to where it looks black it shows that it's actually purple that would have went really well right now i have on the it cosmetic superhero purple liner that i got in a recent haul but this is just a matte purple, so if you like purples and you want a liner, when you put it, it is gonna stay. Try this out. A couple more things that I got from Sephora. I also picked up this Always an Optimist Pore Diffusing Primer by Rare Beauty. I did pick up the smaller version. Um, I just didn't wanna get a big bottle, to be honest with you. I have a lot of primers. And so I thought that was kind of cool that they offered a smaller size. This was $15, I believe. And this is what the packaging looks like. Kind of reminds me of Fenty a little bit, but this does also have a pump. And I've heard good things about it and I wanted to try it. I just didn't want to buy a full size one. It's interesting because it kind of has the texture. You can't see anything, but doesn't have a smell. It kind of has the texture of like the silicone based primers, but it's not as slippery as those are. It's not as slippery as like Benefit Professional if you've tried that. I can definitely see that it smoothed my hand out a little bit. So I will use that in a video coming up to let you guys see my thoughts when I use it with makeup, but the initial feeling it's gonna be pretty good. Last thing I picked up from Sephora is this Fenty Skin Hydra Visor. 
I picked this up because a lot of people have been talking about how good this is under makeup and it is also a sunscreen it's SPF 30 it says it's an invisible moisturizer so I'm curious to see how this compares with my Fenty not Fenty I'm sorry my Kylie skin sunscreen because that's one of my favorites of all time it goes on clear it's smoothing it kind of feels like silicone but it's not too slippery and i feel like it looks really good under my makeup so i'm wondering if this is similar i'm gonna go ahead and open it it comes out pink and then so it's not as slippery and smoothing as Ooh, this has a strong scent it's not as slippery as my kylie one but I definitely can see it does have a little bit of a pore filling smoothing property to it. You can't see it, but it kind of gives a little glow, but it doesn't have that purple undertone or blue that a lot of sunscreens do that can mess up your makeup or have flashback whenever you take a picture. So I will also use this and keep you guys updated. But it, just, it just says defends and brightens skin while reducing the look of pores and it's oil free. All right, so now we're gonna move into the products that I got from Ulta. And I'm gonna start with something that I got as a gift with purchase. I've talked to you guys about this before. This is why I love shopping at Ulta. They have these random perk four hour break. If you buy $50 right now, then you get this gift. Look at how big this bag is. This is a lot of stuff, $50. And this was the perk that you got. You just add it to your basket. And then once you met the requirement, this ended up being free. I'm gonna share everything that was in here real quick. I've gotten one of these before. This is an It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer. Nice deluxe size of that. I also got this Clinique All About Eyes Eye Cream. This reduces circles and puffiness. Nice deluxe size there. Then this looks like it's a full size or I think it is. This is the Neutrogena Sheer Zinc Face Mineral Sunscreen. This is in SPF 50, 100% mineral active and it's hypoallergenic. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be one of the ones that turns your face blue. But your girl needs to keep her sunscreen on because we're gonna deal with all this hyperpigmentation. We gotta get everything right. So I will be wearing sunscreen and I got this for free. I also got this Beekman 1802 Milk Drops. This is a probiotic ceramide, ceramide, whatever, serum. I love getting serums because I never know which ones to buy and which ones work the best. So if I can get one for free to try out, these are also usually really expensive, then this will kind of help me decide. I don't know if this is a full size or not, but this packaging is really heavy and it's super cute. So this says just to apply a few drops directly into the face and massage into the skin. I also got a trial size of the Aveeno Positively Radiant SPF 30 Daily Moisturizer. I remember now this set was a set for sensitive skin. So everything in here is gonna be hypoallergenic, non-comedogenic, not gonna clog your pores, and it's gonna be great for sensitive skin. So this also says that it helps to even skin tone and texture. So I will definitely be giving this one a try. Then I got a sample of the KP Smoothing Body Lotion with 10% AHA. This is not the scrub. I do want to try the scrub because I've heard good things about it. I do sometimes get small bumps on the back of my arms here, also on the back of my legs, but don't have the, the scrub yet, but I'm definitely going to try this lotion out and see how this works. I also got a small sample size of the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water, y'all. <laughs> on my desk right now from when I just did this video but exact same thing in a travel size so this will go in my travel bag there's still more this is the CeraVe AM facial moisturizing lotion with sunscreen this one is in SPF 30 non-comedogenic and non-irritating this is a smaller size this is probably like two uses if you use the amount you're supposed to. And then last but not least, I got these Ulta Beauty On The Go Cleansing Makeup Remover Facial Wipes. 
I only use these pretty much to do swatches whenever I'm doing or to clean up swatches whenever I'm doing videos. I don't normally use them on my face. This does say it's good for sensitive skin. Sometimes I'll use them if I have really heavy makeup on. I'll take my makeup off with one of these first and then I'll start my makeup removal process when I wash my face, which is usually a cleansing balm then a, another cleanser, then another cleanser, and then a scrub. I've been using that now for the past several months. I haven't had any breakouts, so it's working for me. That was all the stuff in my free gift. Now let's get into the stuff that I actually bought. I'll, oh, I have one more. This is not makeup related, but this was also just a thanks for being a platinum member. This is the Kenra blow dry spray. This is a thermal protectant. I use this every single time I do my hair. I have a bottle that I'm running low on. I saw this and they had some other options, an eyeliner, uh, I think a lipstick, maybe a primer. But when I saw this and I knew I was running low, I grabbed this. So this was also a free gift for being an Ulta ultimate member of their reward system. So now for the stuff that I actually purchased. I love Ulta. Um, this is, let's see, it's two orders, I think, maybe three. I finally figured out what my shade is in the Lancome Tint Idole Foundation. This is the Ultra Wear Foundation. I picked up the shade 510 Suede C. I went in Sephora and I swatched and swatched and swatched until I found one that I thought would work for me. This is like a cult favorite foundation, wears a long time, beautiful finish. It is not super drying, but it is mattifying. So it's gonna be long wearing. So that is it blended out on my hand right there. And I'm surprised that this is a cool tone. I guess maybe when it dries down, you'll see it because cool tones are normally more like a reddish pink. You just blot a little bit off so you guys can see what it looks like but yeah that we all know that is the type of shade that i gravitate towards so now i know what my shade is in this foundation and i finally get to wear it again i just remembered the reason why i picked up because i'm like why do i have more lancome stuff they had 30 percent off so that's why i ended up picking up a couple more things i had this sitting in my cart and you can always save stuff for later. So I have a list of Ulta stuff that's in my cart, but saved for later. And I always check that to see if something's on sale. This is the Lancome Grandiose Extreme Mascara. This one says that it is wide angle, extreme volumizing mascara for up to 24 hour wear. This had four and a half stars out of five. And you guys know I have been wearing mascara more lately. So this one had just been sitting in my cart waiting for me to pick it up. This next one is the newest to their line. This is the Lash Edole Lash Lifting and Volumizing Mascara. I haven't tried this, but I've heard a lot of good things. Actually, I lie. I have a small size of this one. And if this is the one with the brush tip, yeah. You know, I don't think I like this one. So it's probably gonna go back. This has the micro bristles. And it also says it has a feather light gel formula for feathery soft lashes. I'm gonna have to try this again because I think when I tried the small one, I didn't like it. So I'm gonna try it again. And if I don't like it, this one's gonna go back and I think I'm just gonna keep the other one. All right guys, so I was editing my video and I realized that I got a product that I wanted to include in my haul that I did not get to show you guys. So editing B here, I'm gonna insert it right now. I decided to splurge and I picked up the T3 curling iron. I, as y'all know, y'all have seen in videos, I have been playing with wigs, trying to just keep things fresh, change it up a little bit. And I have some wigs that are longer human hair body weight wigs that I curl. And then within like 30 minutes to an hour, the curls are gone. And so I've been seeing a lot of people who do wig tutorials saying that this is a really good curling iron to use. So, it's expensive, like $325 expensive. And there was no way I was paying that, but it was on sale for 279 and then I had a 20% off coupon. So I paid around $200 for it. Still really expensive, but you're getting three different curling irons, a one inch, a one and a quarter, and a one and a half. 
and the barrels are interchangeable. So you don't have to buy three curling irons. So it's still expensive, even if you were just buying one of them, but I feel like that kind of made me feel a little better about it. I will say that I've used this on my own hair and I do think that my curls held a bit longer. I do also like that the barrels on these are really long. So when you're curling your hair, especially if it's longer, there's a lot more room to wrap your hair around it. I don't know, it just seemed like it made it a bit easier to curl. But one time I have noticed already, for whatever reason, when I am curling my hair, this part right here is the power button. And once I turn it on and I start curling my hair, for some reason, I always end up hitting that button. Not always, but it happened enough that I got aggravated um, and it turns it off while I'm curling my hair. And the first time I didn't even notice till it was almost cool. Definitely a learning curve with that part, but so far I like it. I will definitely say I'm glad I got it on sale because I, def I would not have paid that much. No way in hell wouldn't have done it, but we'll see if it helps with my wigs. Then today, on my way home from work, because I am literally every day checking the sales pages on Sephora, Ulta, any of the stores that I really like to shop at, I saw that KKW is now 50% off at Ulta. I don't know if they're, I guess they're just either leaving Ulta or rebranding. Same like Kylie, Kylie went 50% off. There's hardly any products left in the store. But I told you guys back during the 21 days of beauty sale at Ulta that I didn't have any of the KKW products. I started doing some research, watching other videos, and I've heard really good reviews about them. So of course, the hoarder, I mean collector in me, wanted to know what the hype was about. So I picked up two of her eyeshadow palettes and I ain't gonna lie, I am checking for that camo one. I just don't want to pay full price for it. So I'm trying to wait to see if it's going to go on sale at some point before I pull the trigger. I have enough green, so I'm not hurting for it, but I still want it. Um, I picked up two of her palettes. I picked up the Classic 2 and the Classic Blossom. I looked at the Classic 1, didn't care for it that much. I felt like the colors were too light and I just, I got enough shades like that. But the other two, this is the Classic 2. This is like right up my alley, perfect. Little bit of warmth with this shade here, but it's more of a cool tone palette other than this gold at the top. So I thought this was absolutely beautiful. And I basically, I brought back that Lancome Idol mascara that I told you guys I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep and that cost about the same price, so it was an even exchange. Then I saw the Blossom palette and I was like, this is kind of giving me modern Renaissance vibes a little bit, but not, as much pink it's more like berry purple so this was just a whim i grabbed it and i think i'm gonna like it if the shadows are good of course i don't know yet but i'll keep y'all posted on that but now i have two more palettes then when i was on my way to check out i saw this and i've been seeing a lot of reviews on it and so of course i was like yeah i want to try it too this is the Juvia's Place New Bronzing Duos. I did pick up dark, the deep dark one instead of just the dark one. The dark one just looked reddish, almost like it would be more of like the kind of blush color that I like, and that's not what I was picking it up for. So I did pick up deep dark, which is really, really dark. I know I'm gonna have to use a light hand. Y'all have seen bronzers that I've picked up be this shade and I've made them work. I'm the type of person, when I buy makeup, I want it to punch me in the face when I buy it. I want it to be pigmented, and I want to be like, ooh, shit, let me, block, let me go ahead and buff that out because it is extremely pigmented. I would rather that than, I don't see anything, let me build it up, let me build it up, let me build it up, and then I have a bunch of product on my face. I did swatch these, and that's what the shades look like, so clearly, they are too dark for me. I'm going to use a light hand and blend it out. It's going to be fine, just like I do with my eyeshadows and everything else. But yeah, I know that this formula is really good already. So I have blushes, I have eyeshadow, I have concealers, I have foundation, highlighters. So I was like, you know what? We might actually be able to do a full face now. So I might, y'all might see that in a video coming up soon. That is it, that is all I wanted to add. So now we're gonna get back into the video. We are almost done, just a few more products. 
The next thing that I got, I picked up these Tweezer Man facial hair scissors. I picked these up to help cut the lace off my wigs. I don't know how people do it with scissors that are sharp at the end because it freaks me out. So these actually, if you can see it, they have a rounded tip. So when you're cutting around your hairline and you're close to your forehead, you're not going to scratch yourself. And then last but not least, I actually picked up two of these. I think they were on sale for $7, $9 maybe, I'm not sure. But this is the NeuroCare Repair Heat Control Treatment. This is to use whenever you are heat styling. I plan to use this on my hair, but I also want to use it whenever I'm styling my wigs to see if it helps just to protect them and maintain the longevity of them. Wigs are not cheap. So you have to treat them, the ones that are human hair, you have to treat them like real hair if you want them to stay in decent shape. But this basically says it's thermal protection and intensive repair for heat stress strands. And then it also says it helps to leave hair smooth and conditioned with a brilliant shine. This is like an actual conditioner with extra heat protection. So I'll probably mix this in with my other more moisturizing treatments, if that makes sense. I swear it never fails. I think I'm done and then I'm like, oh crap, you forgot you have another box. So we are not almost done. If you're still here, comment below and let me know. I feel like I do this to you guys all the time. We are almost kind of done. I will try to go through these quick. I picked up a product from Becca Cosmetics. This is the Becca Light Shifter Finishing Veil. I picked mine up in shade Vapor 4. This is basically a finishing powder and it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. I looked at the different shades that they had available and looking at this in the pan, I was like, I think this is going to be too light for me. But because it's just supposed to be a finishing powder, it's not supposed to be super pigmented. So I'm just going to swatch it. It doesn't give off a lot of color. So that's, yeah. You can see it just gives a little bit of a sheen, but this will just be to finish off in my T-zone or maybe if I have a foundation that's a tiny bit too red or too dark, it's not going to lighten it up a lot, but it'll just help kind of tone it down. I picked up backups of my Kylie Skin SPF 40. This is on sale right now. I think it was at least half off, if not more. Y'all know I said earlier, this is my favorite. SPF of all time. So I don't know if Kylie's going out of business or what's going on. I know I can't buy too many of these because they do expire. These expire next year in June. So I have a while to use them. I wanted to get more, but I know like there's only so much you can use and I don't want them to go bad. So if I use these up and it's still available, I'm going to pick up some more. This is from Sephora. I don't know how this ended up in my Ulta box, but this is the Pat McGrath Blitz Trance Lipstick. This was on sale, I think, for half off. This is what the packaging looks like. Beautiful, iridescent, holographic, super cute. Look at this packaging. absolutely gorgeous is it bad that i buy stuff and i'm like "Ooh, i like this but i like it more because of how it's going to look in my beauty room i actually think this is a gorgeous color and if you can see on the outside of it i don't know if that's all the way through but it actually has glitter Ooh, yes that is very glittery and that is all the way through that is what the shade looks like it is a lipstick but it has a lot of glitter and like a gold reflect to it so I already have something on my lips, but you know what? Let's see. This also goes really well with my eyes. That is a pretty color. Yeah, this goes well with this look. I like this, but yeah, mainly got it for the packaging, but now that I've tried it, I like the lipstick too. I also picked up another eyelash. It's called a Lash Helper. I love using this to put on my lashes and I wanted to put one in my travel bag. This makes it so easy to hold your lashes. I used to have a lot of trouble. I'm getting better because I've been wearing them so much lately. This is super easy. It just comes, it's rounded at the tip and you literally just put your lashes in the middle of it 
and then you just plop them on your eye. Super easy, squeeze your lashes together, go about your business. So this was like $2 and it's by JCAT, so that's why I grabbed it just to see how it compares because the other one I have is by Ardell and it was a little more expensive. So if this is a cheaper option and I put it in my travel bag and it gets lost, I'm not gonna be upset about it. Final thing, saving the best for last. I picked this up because it was on sale. I think it was 50% off or maybe even more. I was not gonna pick this up when it first came out because I didn't wanna spend $60 on it. But as you know, if you've been on my channel for a while now, I love playing in color for eyeshadow. This is the Norvina Pro Pigment Volume 2. Earlier you saw Volume 5. So now I have, I'm waiting on Volume 3 to come in. So now I have all of them except for Volume 4. Didn't want it, not buying it. This is very colorful. Absolutely beautiful. I love blue eyeshadow. I love green eyeshadow. So needless to say, right up my alley. A couple pops of purple, pink in there, but these are mostly mattes. Well, they're mattes and satins. These shades look like they're a lot more straightforward, like they look like they're gonna be what they're showing in the pan, as opposed to the volume five, kind of threw me for a loop on a couple shades. But I just think this is gorgeous, and I'm being a bit of a collector, which is fine. And yeah, so that's why I picked this one up. I can't wait to use this though. All right guys, that is really the end of my haul. That is everything I picked up at Ulta and Sephora. Y'all know I get excited when I find a sale, when I can save some money while spending some money. So yeah, I love sharing these with you guys and it seems like you really enjoy watching them too. These videos get the most views, get the most feedback. So I will keep doing them for you. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, of course, give this video a thumbs up. If you're new, hit the subscribe button and comment below and tell me what you are most excited about or if you have any of these products already. I love hearing from you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.